Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at how to install mods. Now we're going to be installing mods for PC. If you're on console, then the process is going to be fairly similar to the first part of this video, but the second part of the video where we talk about using outside mod sources, that's not going to be applicable for console players because the only way that a console player can obtain a mod is via the in-game downloadable content menu. So once you're in the in-game downloadable content menu, this is the in-game mod hub. And there's a couple important things to note when you're in the in-game mod hub. First off, down here where it says show all mods or show crossplay mods. So crossplay mods are gonna be mods that are available for all platforms, PC and console. If you hit show all mods, then you may be looking at mods that are not also available for console players. And as such, if you do multiplayer sessions with console players, you're gonna be very careful because if you have a non-console compatible mod, then they won't be able to join your multiplayer session. If we come over here, we're gonna take a look. We have installed you can see we currently have no mods installed update there are no mods installed so therefore there are no mod updates to install downloads dlc extra content best mods most downloaded mods the latest mods and recommended now if we go back up here you'll notice that collect straw for missions is listed as a recommended mod. We're not seeing it here under latest mods. And the reason is that we are currently looking at cross play compatible mods only. So this filter down here, if it says show all mods, that means we're looking at cross play mods. If it says show cross play mods, it means we're looking at all mods. Okay, it's a little, in my opinion, it's a little backwards. But at any rate, if you wanna make sure you're seeing all the mods available to you on your platform, then you wanna make sure it says show cross play, play mods only, which means that we are seeing all mods. If it says show all mods, then we're seeing cross play mods only. And that's why you're seeing that collect straw for missions is disappearing when we click this and see all mods. Let's go back up here to the Mod Hub. The Mod Hub is set up into several, several categories. 78 categories, if my count is correct. Right now we're seeing only a very small subset of those categories because, well, it's still early in FarmSim 22's game release cycle. And as such, there aren't that many mods released in the in-game Mod Hub. So if you go to Small Tractors, there's a Fiat 1300 DT. So let's say that we are interested in that particular mod. We can select it again. We have some information about the mod. How big is it? What version is it? Who made the mod? Then we have some descriptive information about the mod itself, the price, power, and speed. We can click install. And now it says it's added it to our download list. You can see it's downloading it, and now it's at 100%. We can do the same for other categories by just adding mods. If there is no plus indicator, it's meaning that there aren't any new mods in that particular category. Giants will typically leave a mod flagged as new for a few days. So again, since we are fairly early in the game release cycle, pretty much all mods that have been released to this point are still new mods. So we have a fair, fairly large list of new mods. And now that we have done that, we can go back here to downloaded. You see there are no active downloads. So then we're gonna escape back out of the game. And you see downloads were successful. Please restart the game to install them. Is it okay to restart? Yes or no? So now that the game has been restarted, we can come in here to career, you can select our save game, and you can see that we now have a listing 
of mods and we can come in here and we can check these and activate them in our particular save. So let's go ahead and do that. And now that we've loaded it into our safe, we can go ahead and go to the shop. And there's now a new category in the vehicle shop for mods and DLC. So we can just jump right to this particular category and see all the mods and DLC that we have activated on this particular game save. And if we want to, we can just look at that. We can go to customize. We can customize this tractor however we want. And then we can buy it right there from one simple menu. Now, if we go back up here, we can also find it. I believe this is listed as a medium tractor. Typically mods are at the tail end of the list. There it is. So we have a medium tractor. We can know it's a mod because it's listed down here. We have the mod name, and then we have mod in parentheses. So for example, if we take a look at harvesters, we also downloaded the Kloss Harvester. There we have the Dominator 108 SL Maxi. It is listed as a mod. And that is basically how you add a mod into the game. And then once you are in the game, how you find it in the vehicle shop. Now for PC players, we also have the ability to download mods from outside of the Giants Mod Hub. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. Open any web browser, and once you have it open, you want to navigate to farming-simulator.com, and from there, you want to click on the Mods Navigation link. This is going to take you to the web-based mod hub. From here, we can see a listing of all the mods that are currently released for Farming Simulator 22. We have various navigation headings here, latest mods, top downloaded mods, Prefab mods. Now, prefab mods are going to be mods that you use in Giants Editor for the creation of other mods or maps. So you will not want to download a prefab and put it into your mod folder. It's not going to work. Category is going to be a listing of all of those various categories, like I said earlier. If you happen to know the category that a mod you're interested in is in, then clicking on that category can help you quickly narrow down your search. We have FS19, which is going to be the Farm Sim 19 mod hub. So all of the mods that are released for Farm Sim 19 are still going to be listed here. And then we have crossplay. Crossplay is going to be the category that you're going to want to look at if you want to make sure you maintain crossplay compatibility for your multiplayer sessions. Now we also do have a search function that you can use to search for various mods. Let's go back to latest and take a look at the mods here. So we have the mod name, who it is by, then we have a rating. So we have the average rating in stars. The first number is gonna be the rating, and the second number is gonna be how many people have rated this particular mod. So for example, government subsidy currently has a rating of four and a half stars, and 1,562 people have rated this particular mod. Now you're gonna rate your mods within the in-game mod hub. I'm gonna go ahead and click collect straw at missions. From here, we get a little bit more detailed information about the mod. We get some nice screenshots. And from here, we can download the mod. We're gonna click download, and it is now gonna download this mod into our downloads folder. And then we're gonna to need to move that download over into our mods folder. For demonstration purposes, I've already pulled up two Explorer windows. One, I'm showing my downloads folder. The other one, I'm showing my Farming Simulator 22 mods folder. Now the mods folder is gonna be found under documents, my games, Farming Simulator 2022 mods. This is also the same general location where your save games are located, as well as various other game files. So we're gonna go into mods once again. You can already see that I have some mods downloaded from the other day. And to add a mod to the mods folder, it's pretty simple. Just drag, drop, there you go.
Now to activate the mods that you've just added into your mods folder, you're gonna to wanna to launch the game, go to career, pick any particular save game that you're interested in launching. And there we have now the mod that we just added, collect straw at missions. We're going to check it, which basically means that we want it to be active for this particular game save. And we're gonna click start. Now there are a few things to keep in mind with respect to adding mods outside of the in-game mod hub. The game needs to be closed. So you can't add a mod to the mods folder if the game is open. It basically puts a write protection on that particular folder so only it can write into that folder. So you wanna make sure the game is closed before you try to put mods into the mod folder. Another thing to think about is if you happen to download the mod multiple times and you have a mod that has parentheses and a number at the end of the name, that is not going to be recognized by the game. So you want to make sure that you only put in mods that have the proper format, which is going to be FS22 underscore name of mod. And that's it. You don't want any parentheses or anything else after the end of the name of the mod. So guys, I hope that has helped you all with learning how to install mods into your game. If you've got any questions or comments, please go ahead and put those down below. And I wish you have a very grateful and very long, that's just stupid. <laughs>